Welcome, this is a guide to finding me on MetaUni. This is my page slash world slash virtual home slash Roblox. That is a Taurus knot in the sky. Yes. So Roblox is a utility platform for persistent large-scale 3D social environments. Uh, it's very widely used for games, particularly among younger people but it's an incredibly well-developed, well-thought-out, highly scriptable, quite beautiful platform for doing things in virtual space. And I think we should use it to do mathematics. At the moment, it doesn't support voice chat, so what I'm going to show you is an integration of Roblox with Discord, a popular real-time communication platform which many of you have used. So here's how to get into the world I just showed you. Uh, make Roblox and Discord accounts, uh, follow this invite to the Discord channel for my particular corner of the uh, Meta University, Metaverse University, whatever. You need to tie the Roblox and Discord accounts that you have together by telling a bot that sits in my Discord channel what your Roblox username is, and you do that with this command then you should manually enter into any Discord voice channel and then jump on the Roblox. And I'll show you how that works. The first time you do it, it will prompt you to download the binary for Roblox on whatever platform you're on. Uh, this should work on PC, Mac, Xbox, iOS. Yeah, this often happens. I have no idea what this is about, but Ignoring it and clicking retry generally works, so good. So this is what you'll see when you spawn. Um, you can walk around with the arrow keys, jump with spacebar, uh, go check out the Taurus knot. But let me show you the integration with voice chat. So if we switch over to Discord here, uh, you'll see that I'm in the general channel. I've registered myself. Um, so ideally, if I now go and find one of these zones, which are these mostly transparent regions you can see here, and I enter it, you'll see that I switched over to some particular voice channel for this zone. The name doesn't matter. That's just something in the Roblox Studio editor that I made up. You don't need to pay attention to those. Um, but as you move between different regions, you'll move between different voice channels. And needless to say, only the people in that voice channel will be able to hear you. When you leave a zone, you stay in the same voice channel so that you can go for a walk, um, eat some apples. Get up to mischief, look at the ocean. Yum. Okay, so I'll show you what's going on here behind the scenes. So the Discord bot is, uh, let me just get out of this, this bit of feedback. Uh, the Discord bot is running on Replit. Um, you can host it anywhere you like. That's just particularly convenient because they have a pre-made template for Python Discord bots, which works. Uh, that's the bot inside the Discord channel. You can see the code if you click on that link. What that does is there's a webhook, um, which is here. There's a webhook which posts to one of the channels in Discord, namely this one, which is invisible to all but me and the bot. Uh, whenever you go into one of those zones, there's a HTTP service integration in Roblox that allows you to post that information to the webhook. Uh, the webhook then 
says who it is and what zone they moved into, and then the bot uh, that I wrote observes those messages and does the appropriate movement of users between voice channels. Okay, so it's relatively straightforward, and there's the there's the code in Lua for the um, for the relevant scripts on the Roblox side. So what is this for? Well, to be honest, I don't really know. <laughs> I just think it's really cool. So I think we should see and figure out if we can discover what it's for. All right, see ya.